All right, we'll do one last trailer, and uh, it will to do something different. We'll do the trailer that I'm hoping will turn into a fucking brilliant game. We're, we're gonna look at good old Kingdom Come too, and we will break it down. Yes. Cool. Look, it's historical. <laughs> It's, it's I, got I'd guns like and shit. Out the, the yeah, the historical the, the he, guns are actually historically accurate to the period. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I, I'm excited that they actually have firearms. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be really interesting. Uh, what I really like is that the castle battles are appropriately sized because they're based on real pissing castles. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, if you played I, the First Kingdom come, the, the Siege on Talmberg. Mm -hmm. uh, it, like, there's so few men, there's so few men on the inside, and then there's not that many men on the outside. And it's beautiful, because it's just accurate, because the whole point of castles is to have few men, big, big men. Mm-hmm. And I also like the fact that they meant when they're going to launch the trebuchet here. They don't say they fucking say fire. Loose. Exactly. And they say loose, not fire. They also don't like... cut the rope. They use a... Le I, actually, well, I, the, the trebuchets in this game are really interesting because they use a pulley system that, on two cranks mm -hmm. to wheel it down. And that, it's, like, it's a really nifty system. Castle. Yep. Yay. Oh God, I love the world because it's the real no. world. Yep. I always dreamt of leaving. Right. So Henry here. Henry doesn't look like Henry. <laughs> This looks like forty-year-old Henry to me. It is because it's it, it's a it's modeled off of the actor, <laughs> right? Like the the, well, the original. But the actor, he's only mm. he, he's only six years older than the original. Yeah. Thing, so yeah, I think, I think they I think they've done like whatever they've done. They've made his face look too old because Henry's supposed to be the same age as Hans. Ish. I have I have a speculation. Given the size of, of the way they're talking about the game and the way they've talked about basic... It was supposed to be a, a trilogy. Mm. And then um, was it Daniel Varva was kind of implied that they had made this game both two and mm. three. Which is reasonable, but the problem is this game's supposed to take place about a two... A with two to three weeks after the previous game ends. Well, here, here, here's my, my thinking. There's a time jump in game. There might be. Because I think this is, you know, this is like the immediate conflict that, and then there's going to be a time jump. Yeah, but the problem, and then you get yeah. into the hustle. It, it really depends on what's happening, what, on the, how they resolve the first opening. Because it, it, the game is literally supposed to start two to three weeks after the previous game ends because like that's how I, long I they said it'd take them to ride to Gutenberg. Uh, um Gutenberg. Gutenberg. So I, I i i genuinely think just because you see henry's character model at other points and it's the same as what he would have been yeah well we'll, we'll 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 hopefully see because we'll i'll just get up a picture of henry from the first game yep um yeah we've kind of added 10 years at least <laughs> though he does look very much like the actor which, which oh, is impressive yeah. if you look at the full game reveal which yeah, well, we'll continue the trailer because I've got another problem. Becoming more than a peasant. <laughs> yes, becoming more than a peasant indeed. <laughs> you bastard. Yeah, yeah, that. 
Don't you hate it when that happens? <laughs> this is why I don't know. The door. Look at the armor. It's so awesome. <laughs> I know. And it, it, it's it's longer this mm. time, which is nice. That that's one of the things where it's like it was a little short. But you I think could get you could get a longer uh, mail. You, no, you could get lo they had sh they actually had in game that there's lo the short gambesons. Oh, I think they call them something else in the game. They, yeah, so you've got like short, arming doublet or something. No, I can't remember to. what it's called, but it, it's basically a gambeson. Mm -hmm. uh, but so uh, they did have longer options, and they same for the mail. The bre okay. the breastplates, they look ridiculous, but that's correct. Mm -hmm. They only go to the bottom of your ribs. Yep. Yeah. That's, unless that's you've, you unless you've got a skirt. So I think Henry's got a skirt. Right, but that that was always an addition. Mm. It is. It's not part of your breastplate. It's additional armor too. But the, the yeah, the guy on the left is that's not re unreasonable armor. Though I would suggest that maybe a nose that big doesn't quite fit with the rest of his kit. <laughs> no, but, but it's I, not unreasonable. I do remember seeing those in museums because mm. it was. Oh, a very, I agree. Um, I, I've yeah. seen them too. It's a very it's a realistic helmet. I'm just thinking yeah. that maybe a helmet with that much craftsmanship doesn't quite fit a guy whose guts exposed. <laughs> yeah, true. True. But that's just a stylistic thing. Who knows? There's going to be guys dressed randomly, and that's something I liked from the first game. Your enemy types had different equipment in, well, in the same class, so they actually looked different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was actually a brilliant thing with their characters. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Hold on a second, there's hands. Yep. Yeah, that he looks the right age. Is that's Henry? And, yep. And and right behind him, can you recognize that that, that character? No. <laughs> Who? All right. How how far have you gotten through with your last playthrough? Finished. So you got drunk with Father Godwin. That's Godwin. I guarantee it. It looks like the same face. What the fuck's he doing here? That's young hands and old Henry. That's I. That, that's some interesting character modeling. Yeah. Actually, let's stop in and look at the siege for a second. Oh, that's oh, oh yes, and, and it's a proper castle. Because what's a castle? It's a fortified medieval residence. Mm hmm. And that's about one family and a couple of guards. It's, mmm, but you need that many men. Because that's the pissing point of a castle. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Primed, I don't know if Hans has bothered the, the bathmaids again, but I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Depends if he's been near the butcher. Yeah. <laughs> but oh the castle looks so good it's whitewashed it's got the roofs right it oh it, it, mm, mm. Keep, keep it in your pants now Bez keep it in your pants oh, it's a gorgeous castle this is the trailer oh. for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 Tristan the one game I'm excited I'm cautiously optimistic for okay excited for it I'm like dear god I hope They've managed to, hot t to make the publisher fuck off. I hope they've kept the diversity out of it. I hope the diversity they've said is going to be in it is just the Saracens and we're going to kick the shit out of them. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. It's not a big please, ass. Please, war horse. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations tonight. You finally become a man. Oh, it's fucking Ishbon, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks good. Wake, Wake up. up! Pull yourself together, Henry. Hmm. Anything familiar, Bleach? Uh, gee, that sword looks awfully uh, forged from earlier. Hmm. That sword's familiar. Now, yes! 
I fucking oh, hope it's yeah. that fast. If it's this, Ooh, if it, they've sped, if they've sped up the combat like this, yes, I'm fucking in. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. I, I hope that's more than just a cinematic. Hmm. Like we did have the master strike or whatever the fuck it was in the previous game. I, I can't wait till he dies. Yeah. Fucking it's gone. Yeah. Fucking tough. But I, I gotta say, that was a brilliant choice for the, the villain of the first game. Mmm. It's almost and if as it's a spoiler to anybody, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Go play the go play the first game. I highly recommend a, a couple of mods <laughs> to re remove we'll some of the, the stupid survival crap. Allow and and it, the it, arrow it, reticle. Yes, get the mods that let you have and the re the reticle when you're using a bow and arrow. Get the mod that stops you getting dirty as quickly. Get the mod that allows you to fully clean yourself in a trough. And those are the really the essential ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are probably the essential ones. Oh, and also get the mod that allows you to go through bushes. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, but also, one th another thing, if you don't want to get really pissed off at the game, do the side quests as they appear for the most part. Especially right at the beginning. Do not just mainline the campaign. You will get really fucking annoyed. Because the game and is a very, very fucking good at making your skills show up in the fucking, in anything you do. Like, you can feel your character's skills getting better as you do the actions, especially lockpicking and combat. <laughs> and and I, I will say, if, if you fuck up and don't do the side quest early, um, that, that kind of, yeah, that, well, the first real boss you encounter will wipe the floor with yes. you. Yes. Also, when you get to the your second option to practice swordsmanship skills, do every single one of the tutorials. Yep. Because otherwise, some of the features don't work properly. <laughs> and you don't, won't know how to use them. But... Also, they remove they or they also remove the requirement to hit the attack button after doing a perfect block. So if you do a perfect block, it's a percentage chance of doing a attack. Yes, do all the combat tutorials. <laughs> very very important. Yep. And the, yeah, to, feel free to take your time to practice. And about now, you'll have figured out if you want to install the unlimited carry weight mod. <laughs> <laughs> it does make the game a bit easier because it lets you loot all the enemies and you can sell their shit off but I didn't find it too ridiculous I just it's just a pain in the ass going oh I've stripped one guy and now I can't carry anything else yes it's realistic no it's not fun yeah so I, uh, I, I left it in for the realism mm. the, the, the carry weight but I always made sure I had a horse nearby yeah yeah yeah, I got rid of the carry weight because that's not how I like to play games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of inventory limits and survival mechanics. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you can guess which perks I took. <laughs> 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 oh dear, let's continue. The, hey, there's, there's some armor. Visors. Yes, movable visors. Yep. That's that's that nice. Is is that the scallop symbol on his front there? No, uh, Ratai. Ratai. Oh, yeah, I thought it was familiar. Yeah, that's Hans. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to tell. But fucking Hans and Henry look so much alike. It's even when you see the actors. Like the act I know you'd almost yeah. swear they were brothers. Hmm. <laughs> or at least cousins. Well, well actually, cousins is. <laughs> In in game probably makes sense too. Yes. Oh, I, I do like that with the crossbow coming out from behind cover, firing and then getting back into cover, because that's how you use a pissing crossbow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one of the big advantages. Like you and me. 
Hey, white rattle. Hey. Your work is done. Oh, yeah. Right, there's my other quest. There's the other thing I wanted to bring up. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> it better be Teresa. Yeah, she better have got some really fucking good hair dye. What the fuck is going on here? But yeah, who the fuck is this bitch? And if it's not Teresa, I want a really good fucking explanation. <laughs> yeah. It's like 20 years have had to have passed. He married Teresa, you know, sired 12 kids, and then she died of you know, some epidemic. I, I just, no. But yeah, they better I, have, I have a really demands. fucking good explanation for this. That's going to be my first yeah. question. Where the fuck is Teresa? <laughs> who, is, yeah. who, who is this harlot? <laughs> and been... This is not Henry's woman, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh. Oh, merciful God, be kind and protect us so we don't. Uh oh. Parses off. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Even the comedy is better. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, God. <laughs> Please be good, please be good, please be good, please be good, please be good. You, you know, I, I'm feeling a bit hungry. <laughs> Actually, uh, let, let's get, I, I just want to show you the fucking actors in this. Uh, Luke Dale, and I can't remember the other actor's name, but it was Henry. Sorry, I believe you didn't catch that. No, uh, it, Luke Dale is... Sir Hans, and it's actually kind of interesting on um, like some of the Discord stuff. Yeah, he's actually pretty active with the community. Mm. It's been a while. Hey, fuck me, they got the face of him right in the first game. Yeah, but I swear he's got an extra five or six years in the second one. Mm-hmm. But now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And I, I hope they have the same, um, you know, music mm. director. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, an action RPG. Look at those bastards! But they look exactly <laughs> like the characters. They did an excellent job oh, yeah, of those face they... scans. They they absolutely did, and there, there's a part of me they're they're holding out on Victoria Hogan, who was Teresa, <laughs> just because they want to fuck with people. I think yes, they they'd better be because... fucking with people. Where the fuck is our that, Teresa? That, that's one thing I've I've noticed is Warhorse is very good at kind of like having fun mm. with with their audience. Yeah, well, and they they do seem to actually really fucking care about the game. Which what is I surprising what I th reckon is also in their favor is where are we for this video? Church, Kutenberg. Uh, well, yes, the, but also the, they, church. They filmed that in Kutenberg. Yes, in the yeah. in the church. So fingers yeah. crossed. Please don't be shit. Please don't be woke. <laughs> please have the diversity just be something to stab. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so I'm, I'm, I'm on. Oh, the, hold uh, on, here we go. Some... There's a face. Guy who dogs his way out of problem. Who the fuck is this? Who can be a charming knight? Who can be a thief? You know. Hmm. A... Was that the bitch from the trailer? It kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. We, we, we have to investigate Jesus. this. Hmm, Rest pink dress, same, red it? arms. We talking guy who dogs his way out of problem. Hmm, that's not Teresa. That's not Teresa. I don't, I don't know who the fuck it is, but she <laughs> looks like she's 40. <laughs> uh, I, I maybe, hope maybe that's this just is Lady the... Stephanie again. I hope this is... 
actually, that might be a point. Maybe it is some side quest where you need to seduce an, an upper class hoe or something. Mm -hmm. no, uh, okay, it's not that the, but, the but, but, is deep silver. Hey, mm, who, who apparently aren't at great, but at least they're no fucking Sony. Oh mm -hmm. God, I hope it's not shit. This is like the biggest thing I'm worried about is no Teresa. Yeah, where the fuck? Yeah, because she... why? Why the fuck would she be in Gutenberg? Uh, I also don't hope that the shall we say Henry's upgrade that he finds out about. Mm, I hope that doesn't exclude Teresa. That that's almost my fear. Is it's like well, you can't marry her, even though that's yeah you know, because Henry's love spoilers. Uh, fingers fucking crossed. Oh. It, so they 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 you know, Kingdom Come Deliverance two has a Discord, and yeah, there, there, there's a lot of people in there just posting like, uh, you know, <laughs> who the fuck is Teresa? this? <laughs> who is this ho? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um... Can we get a cast hmm. list, anyway? Uh, ooh, that's a, that's a, that's a really damn good question. Uh, da, 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 da. But then they might not release that no, anytime soon. Probably not. Hmm. Is yeah, I, that that that's 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 the sneaky part about Warhorse is they do play a lot of shit close yeah. to their chest. I mean, they're cheeky fuckers. Yeah, hold on, why can Hilly? Why is is that name familiar from somewhere? Which name? Uh, Logan Hillier Toth. Is he? Has he been in anything? Oh yeah, else? that's that's Ishban Toth. Yeah. yeah, has he been in anything else I recognize? Oh, he was in Carnival Rai. Not that I've seen that, but I've heard of it. What have you been in? Uh, Carnival Rai. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Funnily enough, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, not a lot. But apparently Kingdom Come Deliverance was his big thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> but that... That, that, that propelled him into other shit. Huh. Right. IMDB. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not helpful. I mean... It just has... See... It just gives us fucking Tom McKay, Luke Dale, and Logan Hillier. You know, there, there's an interesting thing. Um, oh, that's where they fucking got Tom McKay. He was in The Lost Legion 2014. Look at that picture. No shit. Look at that. No. Uh, is he Damn. in the? Is he somewhere in this? <laughs> Apparently. Back I in think the he, back he, right. he's behind the woman yeah. in red. Yeah, yeah that's, how, that's how Henry. Damn. <laughs> oh fuck me! Look at that face. That's Henry, all right. Just wrong hat, wrong time period. Yeah. Uh, that, oh. Yep. Yeah. They. they I wonder it, if he's it, feeling hungry. Even in the original, they did an excellent job of capturing his Facial face. Modeling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at him. Well, Lost even Legion. With, uh, that's, with Luke Dale and. That's an. They. If they've done a phenomenal fucking job. On of, of capturing his likeness. In the first game, so where the fuck is everyone else's excuse? <laughs> how, well, I mean, how does fucking uh, Warhorse that had like three staff members when the first game came out? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, because if, if you watch, yeah, and I, I would encourage everybody to watch the the the, the release trailer. Well, the the thirteen minute one, mm. and it's like they they mentioned going from like. Like basically nothing to two hundred and fifty staff. Yeah, well, they, they that like, off that one shit. game. I reckon that's where they found Tom McKay after he did the, appeared in the Legion because yeah he mm, he looks right for the uh, and Luke Dale is the other one is our yeah amorous uh, hands yeah oh yeah. apparently he's a mo yeah, he's a motion capture artist and he's done. Absolutely fucking nothing I, that I recognize other than Kingdom Come. <laughs> hmm. 
I, I mean, Battlefield Five. I've heard of, but I've never played. Right. Let's have a just out of interest, and because I thought, fuck it, we've already given up any hope of being on plan. Right. Who the who was the cast? Michael Pitton is our is our pal Radzig, huh? Sir Radzig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, I can see that. Kind of. Like they they've diff mm, sharper features, I'd say, in the you know. In Sir Radzig. Yeah, well, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah kind of. The, well, the, 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 the mustache definitely changes the face shape a bit. Uh, who else do we have? Yeah, there's Istvan. Yeah, Luke Dial. Matthew Wolf. It was Henry's father, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I can kind of. I can yeah. see that. Little, you know, little, they aged him more. Yeah, I think, I the, think they the did. Uh, Peter Hosking is Sir Hanish. Oh shit, he's been in a lot, if I remember. Yes, yeah, a hundred eight things. <laughs> Fuck, and <laughs> they got him to play Hanish of Libra. Fair enough. Well, they... Oh, um, trying to remember, they they got. Some real oh, here we go, Randall Scott it. Williams. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Godwin's great. I like Godwin. It, it, he's he's one of those characters where you just like. At first, it's like, wow, oh, this guy's going to be a complete dick, Ta and then you get in there, and it's like, <laughs> wow, they really aged the shit out of him. Oh, didn't they? <laughs> Fucking hell, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, wow. you kind of, you can kind of get it. Kind yeah, of. It's but when you're raging someone by like 40 years. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, who else do we have? Uh, Jade Becker from Stephanie Tomberg. <laughs> Dan Brown, <laughs> Robard of Tomberg. I liked Robard. Hmm. What was he in? Yeah, I, I I like the fact that he just treated you like utter shit, and then it, by the end of the game, it's like, well, you have to earn his yeah, respect, and it's very nice. Exactly. He plays. And he was in all quiet. Yeah. Oh no, not a remake. No, I I I've not seen this, but it's, it's at Netflix. Least better than the 1970. It's better than the 1970. Oh yeah. Oh for now, fuck's sake, will you? Sucked ass compared to the 1933. Oh, 93. Uh, right. S can we get... <laughs> um, no, we've got the actual man. That's not helpful. <laughs> no. I, I I love the fact that... Um, Is that the guy? He... I'm not... No. no. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, if you search Dan Brown... You get that stupid fucking author. Mm. Well, actually, if I search for him and the movie, yeah, that's the author. And I has an image. I'm r really not getting the guy. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we've got any hope there. That's a shame. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I do like the fact that um, <laughs> they didn't even have a a Twitter presence mm. for for yeah you know, Warhorse like didn't post anything for a while leading up to it. It's like Ooh. yeah, that's an excellent picture. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she did an excellent job voicing Teresa. She got all the emotion across very well. Uh, oh, that's Runt, is yeah. it? Luke, uh, Luke Gale. Uh, there's oh. Tobias Favor. Yeah. Uh, good engineer friend. Yes. Brian, Brian Blessed. Blessed! Yes. Oh, that's... Uh, well, you, <laughs> you didn't realize he was in this? No. Who would have thought that a tiny little fucking studio like Warhorse could get Brian 
hissing placid. <laughs> I, I I think if I remember hearing it right, they basically are like, would you do this for us? He's like, sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, it's it, it's oh, a bit character you're... though. He takes a, he is very influential at the end. Yep. Big old Conrad. And <laughs> fucking um, shit. I think Tom Baker is supposed to be having some role in the uh, <laughs> and, and one of the other doctors. Mm. Um, like, one of the good ones. And apparently, yeah, they they just like randomly asked and <laughs> it's with, like, with hey, Baker, yeah, like they, hey you're awesome <laughs> you're <violent. laughs> well, I, yeah I, well i mean hell it's like i i think the way i heard it and i could be wrong and it's, it, it was just kind of something i heard in passing while i was listening to a a, a podcast while i was mm-hmm. driving around but they like at, yes they, they were like looking around and they're like well maybe and, and it's like no, no, yeah. oh no! Um, that that was Fallout London that got Tom Baker to do a couple lines, yeah. and they just asked. They that that's where I was getting that from. There, I'm I'm excited for Fallout London, but I'm more excited for KCD too. Oh God, I hope it's not shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, I, I will not be streaming this. <laughs> I, uh, no, uh, the, I, 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 some games I just want to sit down and enjoy myself. So if you see me streaming a game, it's either going to be a game I'm playing with Trim, or it's going to be shit. <laughs> yep. Because it's more fun yep. to stream shit games. But, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't really expect this game to be a thing. I, I, I thought, oh, it's just going to... I, I yeah, they're going to talk about yeah, it, but... I wasn't excited. Yeah. Uh, it came out of fucking nowhere, and it was awesome. Like, oh, please. If, if if it's half as good as the original game, as far as if, it, if it's half if it's half as good as the original game, it's going to be the best game of this decade. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And, and I am willing I, to make that as a categoric prediction. If it's half as good as the first game, it's going to be the best game of this decade. So, I have a prediction for the release date. Late 2024. December 4th, 2024. And, and here's the reason why. They make several references to St. Barbara, and ah. the feast day for St. Barbara is December 4th. Mm. And since th- that's one of the big saints um, in the Czech Republic, just, just saying. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I can see what 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 would be a good bet to put on that prediction. Uh, um, a, I'm, I'll I'm, go out and I'll have check beer and I'll live stream the first half hour of gameplay. Uh, no, Oh, dear, I'm just scrolling through the Twitter, seeing if anything interesting pops up. But, yeah, oh, if, th- if, there you go. Apparently, the actors who play Henry and Hans are mates in real life. That that's cool. That is. Which which also means that their interactions in the in the game are going to be even better. Because holy crap, their interactions in one were well. Seriously, I don't know how the fuck Warhorse pulled off getting that many good actors. <laughs> I yeah, I I really don't, especially for such a, a like a minuscule, like what like. Probably ten to twenty staff, mm-hmm. and then to pull that shit off. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, Henry's act is brilliant. Like Henry makes you want to punch him in the fights, mm-hmm. <laughs> which is good. <laughs> uh, but then he grows, well, it, yeah, and I mean, it's just so well executed. And like we've said before, Teresa's act is spot fucking on. Yeah. It, even when you go through the DLC missions, just. Mm. Brilliant, brilliant let, actress. Let, let, let's be honest. Let, let, you know, with the, the Woman's Lot DLC, I was thinking, man, this is going to be oh, just Oh, I was so because... apprehensive about that, but then I played them I'm like, but it's not Girl Boss. <laughs> exactly. It, it's like a woman of the time period who is suicidal at the end yeah. of that DLC. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, 
honestly, this this is one of the most well crafted games I've ever played, mm. and I really am scared. <laughs> There you go. They've even got a fun fact about that one. The cutscene of the attack in a woman's light DLC changes depending on if you were able to help Teresa or just saved yourself. A loud whistle can be enough to distract the attackers. Yeah, and we know it tutorials at us. But yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, master strike timing made easy, huh? I, I, it just pisses me off so much that the enemies can fucking counter you. And there's yeah. nothing you can do about it. Like, they need, if, if they added the ability to stop a counter with a master strike that'd be oh, fine that would be brilliant but only with a master strike that would raise the skill yeah. ceiling but it'd at least be possible because it's you should if you're a ma if you're a master be able to do the fights without any damage in my opinion if in you theory, if, yeah. if you're or, good or, but or unfortunately least... in one they can just counter you and you there's nothing you can do about it yep one, one thing I I really admired a, about the the whole setup for for the original KCD was I if you if you play it through a second time it's like you see all the signs mm. that Henry's a bastard but until like it it toward you know un, until like the third act it, you don't really get suspicious but you're just like Okay, you know, th this was, you know, one of the Lord's retainers' sons, and, you well, know... Well, they hide it, they looking... hide it so well. Because they, all yeah. they need to do is just not mention it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I really admire how they actually seem to, you know, they come across as respecting the, uh, the audience, you know, the, the, the players. Mm-hmm. It's just something that's not, not really, yeah, you know, well done for the most part. Mm. And I, I also like the fact that you can get in deep shit in game and get arrested. Oh yeah, and it's very appropriate. Like, oh, one my one of the side quests I enjoyed was the executioner in outside of what is it Scallets? I think it's Scallets. No, uh, no, retire. Retire. Uh, no, yes, of course. Not scouts, you idiot. Um, yeah, definitely retire. <laughs> the uh, the executioner there. Towards the end of the game, you can help him with a crying woman in front of his place. Do you remember that quest? Oh yes. <laughs> That's a great quest. <laughs> I, I I like the fact that you can also go and kill her in laws. <laughs> yeah, that's an option. It's like, I'm sorry. Your in laws are dead. You're gonna have to die. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> well, by that point, though, by the time I got there to that point in the game, I I was completely fucking decked out in plate mail and noble clothing, and I had the perk that gives you extra charisma if you're in shiny mail, and then I had the perk <laughs> from herbalism that gives you extra charisma if you're carrying herbs and. <laughs> then my speed and my speed skill was really high, and <laughs> it's just like, no, you, they suck. Maybe you should stay here instead. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's a great quest. I, mate. <laughs> uh, I, but let's just be honest. It it's like there there were so many like what could have devolved into like really shitty side quests. Yep, that actually were surprisingly good. Like, really damn good. Yeah, most of the side quests were good. Even a lot of the, uh, what do they call them, activities were okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, the, one of the few ones I didn't like was having to go and pick all those damned herbs for the monk. Oh, yeah, that was stupid. Actually, the th the, 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 there were three times I got really fucking annoyed. All right. At least three times. And funnily enough, it was all the same pissing thing. Because someone decided to be a good fucking idea for me to have to do fucking escort a fucking NPC across the pissing mountain by fucking foot. What mm -hmm. fuckwit decided that was a good idea? Just cutscene me there. <laughs> yep. And <laughs> so, uh, Pr Primed points out uh, someone on Twitter will name their kid Kunesh 
and one of the actors uh, will get the heraldry of Ratai tattoos. That was Luke Dale, and apparently <laughs> that that is a thing. I saw that on Facebook as well. That's hilarious. Uh... Uh, yeah. So 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 the actor Luke Dale, uh, if if I can get a screenshot of this, basically said, "Yeah, I, I will track you down and hold you to this." <laughs> no, I. That's uh... like man. How how many like, actors? Hmm. Even if he's just kind of a minor actor. Yeah, the they, there he is, Daniel things. Vavra, the creative director. Even though I think he, the studio got bought out, he's still the creative director. So I, I hope he did. Uh, fuck, it could be the best game of this decade. It really could. Yeah. Because KCD came out last decade, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, like 2018 or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it could be the best one for this decade. <laughs> Which isn't really a challenge. This decade has got really fucking slim pickings. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it in our chat, but I probably don't want to dox the guy. But yeah, it, it's like the, the, the actor is like, yeah. I will track you down and hold you to this. Hey, Luke Dell has come to see us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said, I'm serious. You have to do it. <laughs> because you've come I mean, like Willie says. That that that's that's actually really fucking awesome that hmm. somebody actually cares about the audience enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's... Here here's a good KCD meme. Yeah, well we might do some uh, we might uh, I mean <laughs> let, let me see if we can get some KCD memes and we'll so fin you will finish off with those. Uh, <laughs> here we fucking go. <laughs> I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Oh, god damn lock picking. Oh, fuck, ah. I, the lock picking's fucking hard. <laughs> it was at this moment, I knew I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I managed to kill all of them without cheating. Yeah. I, I don't know how I managed either. Well, I actually, what I did was I ran around and then mm. like lured them out one by one. <laughs> yeah. Got in their you know, little cone. Yeah. Teresa, when you ask her, go out in this weather? Also, Teresa. <laughs> the fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> fucking butt. <laughs> Risks life and limb to give his slaughtered parents a moral Christian barrel. Loose every corpse on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Why do you go to bed in a full suit of armor? Is it the best way to get a good night's sleep? <laughs> uh... <laughs> ah, yep, excellent choice. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck off with that. <laughs> so here's the game. I'm going to change the world. Every NPC before I say, for the better, right? For the better, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. Use the perk, headcracker. <laughs> Ouch. That's a great perk, even with the long sword, because sometimes you just slam the sword into someone's head and down they fucking go lights out. Which yep. isn't unrealistic. If you got someone at the right angle with a fucking piece of iron to the side of the fucking helmet, <laughs> that could take him down. Should should take them down. <laughs> yeah. What you doing down there, son? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's I hate that fucking meme format anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there he is again. Just stands there for four hours straight. Sometimes reading a book with his eyes closed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're playing it safe like you're supposed to, slowly leveling and training, only doing quests that don't seem too dangerous, avoid any fights you can't win yet. You randomly get ambushed by five non-scripted humans on the road and lose two hours of progress. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's another mod you must get. You need to get the unlimited saving mod. Unless you want to do it yes. hardcore, fine, whatever, but otherwise get the unlimited saving mod. The save your snaps are a stupid idea, don't waste your time with them. Yeah, that's it. I, I appreciate what they were trying to do, but man, 
It just didn't fu doesn't fucking work. I do like the who would win one though. <laughs> who would win? A ruthless and feared leader of bandits, a remorseless man of huge build who seeks amusement and slaughtering people. One nice boy. <laughs> well, the implied time scale definitely seems to change it up. Yep. But fucking hell, you get your ass kicked if you're not ready. Or, or if, if somehow you, you are smart enough and you pull out you know, your bow and arrow <laughs> and you just run around shooting him in the head. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that's, I mean, it works, but once you want master strikes, uh, make it things very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's relatively easier. Ah, yes, cumins, cumins everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what I love is when I get fucking ambushed by one fucking peasant in his rags with his stick. Meanwhile, there's Henry, war horse, <laughs> fucking plate mail, <laughs> visor <It's> helmet, like, <laughs> and, and it's like, really, mate? Stab. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I usually like pick my uh, my lowest skill weapon at that point just so it's interesting. Mm. Well, I, I just basically mainlined, uh, fucking, what was it? It's longsword the whole way. And eventually mm. the sort of, the Queen of Beersheba, I think it's Beersheba, Queen of something. Yeah, Be Beersheba. Yeah, which may or may not have anything to do with her, but is in fact the best longsword in the game. Yep. Uh, I, I, I do like if, if you get to the point with looting, and you can just go and buy shit. Mm. <laughs> and it's like, you know, and yeah, you've got the hidden treasure stuff too. That that's actually kind of a nice way to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Patrick telling Henry how he keeps his mill going. The secret ingredient is kind. Of... The problem with the hidden treasure one is that all the armor sucks. <laughs> the armor sucks, but sometimes you get good weapons. That's right. At least for early in the game. Yeah. But... A fucking oh, the bows are annoying as shit sometimes, though. Yeah, well, that, that's why I'm so excited about crossbows. Mm. So, yeah, <laughs> it, this should be. Good. Don't put all your horses in one bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that glitch. <laughs> I never happened to me, fortunately. Um, what? <laughs> Something what? here does not belong. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, have a wash. Mm. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah on, that, that, that's an excellent scene. Yep. That, but that hair does not look red. So that better be a fucking optional side thing, like fucking what's a shit. Yeah. Uh, Lady Stephanie, yeah. or there's another one. There's at least two other ones. There's the wit witches in the woods. Yeah, There's... I don't really count that one, but <laughs> the shenanigans um, you get up to with Godwin. Yep, yeah. that—that's the chick I was thinking about. Mm. And then, yeah, of course, you're the bath bathhouse winches. Yep. And um, is there is there anything? Is there any other options? Uh, not sure. I don't think so. Not off the top of my head, anyway. <laughs> that moment when a native takes a joke about your mum too far. <laughs> <laughs> Before, after. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill everyone at the monastery. The monastery is an interesting shenanigan. It's just a... Yeah, monastery is a very interesting time. You know, it, it was like, part of me is like, I really wanted to get pissed off at it after a while just because mm. it was so damn tedious but it's like once it's done it's like you know that actually was a very clever way of kind of mm. slowing down the, the the gameplay without making it stupid mm. it's also nowhere near as bad as it could be once you realize how to put it without spoiling it too much Sneaking around at night's easier than you think. Yeah. For Lucky. reasons. Spoiler, for spoiler-related reasons. 
A pad foot perk does help. This is true. It does. But there were other spoiler related reasons as to why sneaking around at night is easier. Mm. But I think we'll leave it there. I I would think that's a, a excellent point on uh, jumping off. If you enjoyed this segment from the Sons of Child Life podcast, please consider joining our blog exclusively on rumble.com slash inside the box. A special thanks to our subscribe star supporters who you can currently see scrolling past.